Welcome to Chum Project. Yet again, I got started on something and I didn't bring y'all along. So, yeah, here you are. So, this is all I've done. I've got these bushings. I don't really, this is this is the first time me doing this. I ordered um, parts from uh, Con Equip. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome company there. They called me twice making sure I had the right parts. And, of course, I ain't even done nothing with them yet. They found the kits. I gave them a serial number and a year, and they just sat there on a the computer and figured it all out and sent me the stuff. And uh, I'm a little confused. This is two, four, six, but I thought I was getting eight. So there's two, four, or two, four, six, and then maybe I don't know. I had these 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 little bushings. I'm not sure where those go. So maybe that's the ones that I'm missing. So yeah and then some o-rings so uh what i've done so far is i've pulled the pins out to take the quick attach off and that's these two holes which is the h bracket is loose now so next i'm gonna take this pin out and this pin out and then start trying to hunt down my bushings where they all go so all right let's take this thing apart Talk about a mess. Might be better if I didn't grease anything. So yeah, that's that's what I thought of this kit. My kids. I got my kid today. My mini me's running around with me. But I got a, uh, let's see what this is. Uh, just what I thought, I got one of these, um, or two of these. There's two and then I got six of these. So there's, I'm confused how it's put together. Yeah, two, four. It looks like those are the big ones. And then on this H bracket, those are the big ones so there's two four I just don't have anything two two four and then six and then I don't know I don't know what's supposed to be in in those so they, I was told this kit would come with everything to replace everything on the end of the dip stick the dip stick so it should have been two, four, six. But I think this one. Oh, that's what it is. I didn't. I don't have that bushing. Mm. Which that's easy enough. I can place the outside. Outsides on the H bracket. Place the two in there. Two in there. Two in there. To be two, four, six, and then I can call them and order these two or one or however that's built i think it's i think it's two but yeah let's let's try to figure out how to get these beat out of there we're getting the torch out sure what I'm taking off here but they ain't giving and I've got this little tiny fur all the way around it so maybe that's what uh maybe that's what's stopping see if it'll come out I don't know if I got a socket that might fit that and I could just drive straight in maybe 
Hold your ears, son. torch it. I did it. Just six more to go. All right. So. <laughs> I'll take it. Seems to be the right ones. So I'm a little confused on on these these bits because. Maybe that is metal. Ah, that does have metal on it. So that goes back in that outside. So I need to clean that up, get all those out. And then, uh, so now you see how I'll do it. I'm gonna torch that side, get that one out for you. And then we're just gonna slap two, putting all new ones in. All right, there she be. I got those uh, those two bushings out <clears throat> and those two O-rings are uh, seals. So somehow this right here has, uh, let's see if we get a light going here. Somehow this right here was the outside of that other ring and it's it's formed itself to it. So I gotta clean this up and then uh, while this is still good and hot from the torch, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, I have the other bushings in the freezer uh, so when they freeze on a molecular level they will contract and then this is hot so it's expanded so it gives me the best the best chance of putting it all back together so I'm gonna clean that out with some rags real good and, uh, and clean this edge up and then we're gonna slap some new ones in there Okay, I'm just uneducated on it. That was just the outer ring, so easy day. Get out. Can't never could, son. Could never would. Would never got crap done in this world. That worked. All right, so I'm gonna wait to put them uh, oil seals in. I'm not which, sure which way they go. I think it's cut towards grease, and flat towards dirt, but I could be wrong on that. So I'm gonna try to get one of these out in, in good shape and, and take a look at it. And also this thing is uh, still pretty pretty warm. As you see, it's real hot and those barns real cold. Bushing's real cold, so they just slid right in. That was beautiful. Um, but it's going to be the same process for this one and the same process for that one, uh, the H bracket. And I'm going to heat it up, bait those bushings out, take the cold bushings, slide them back in after after I clean it up a little bit, grease it, put it back together. So, yeah. I'm not going to bore you with all that, so I'll just throw you on a time lapse and let you watch it happen real fast. All those big bushings 
all six of these big bushings just slid right in slight pat tap with a mallet maybe a slight tap with a hammer just to get it straightened out those two i guess where they're thicker those are pretty thin those are a lot thicker they just didn't so yeah fun stuff so all right well we're going to uh give this stuff a break go grab some lunch and we'll be right back all right, so they sent me the wrong grease seal for this. I, uh, I wasted three of these trying to fit it in there and find out it's the wrong hole with the right bushing. The right bushings, I got new bushings in this pen, new bushings here, new bushings here, and new bushings here and here. Not here. I had to reuse my grease seals up here. And uh, this will get a new, I'm gonna order a new grease seal for this and order these grease seals. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it put back together and then uh, I'll take it back apart, just put them seals in and that one, one bushing in the pit cylinder there. So let's get this put together. You can see a lot of my play is coming from this bracket here being so loose it has nothing to do with the bushings i don't know if there was supposed to be a bushing in there or not but it doesn't have one and then we i got it put back together and the whole thing just moves a whole lot so i found a washer that was laying there and the guy that was with me was like was there another one i said i didn't even know that one was laying there so maybe and we couldn't find another one so hopefully putting two washers back in this or two washers plus them o-rings will help keep some of the dirt out i think these o-rings sit in here uh, around this so yeah let's uh let's get this thing put together real quick get this project done with and you see everything moving so i bought these washers to try to take up the slack in here and I can't get the washers in between. I was like, there's not enough tolerance. I mean, it needs to be more of a shim than anything. I could probably hunt down some th real thin ones and stack in there, but honestly, that ain't, that doesn't drive me too crazy right there. The most important ones I, that I see here is the bushings inside of here and the bushings inside of here because you can buy new ones of these, you can buy new ones of these, and the bushing in here. You could buy a whole new cylinder, but that's expensive. There's a bushing in there that this kit didn't come with. I'm going to try to hunt that bushing down, but it ain't got, it barely has any play in it at all. The most important ones are here because to replace, to get those fixed, if it starts wearing into the actual arm itself, then you'd have to fill it in with weld and get like a magna drill or some sort of lathe that spins and actually will hone that back out and bore line it. And I really don't want to pay a price like that on a machine like this so i probably could have got away with a lot longer of the the bushings that i had but it's one of those things like hey it's got it's i got over 2,000 hours on it now so these bushings should theoretically last me the rest of the time that i have it as for the washers i bought i just went ahead and i'll just stack them there and put these bolts in it so yeah let's button this up well after breaking my snap-on handle which finished the job because this handle left the orbit of Earth and I don't know where it went. Finally got done. Geeky. So a lot of that play that <clears throat> we're seeing there is from the uh, bucket, it's, or the quick attach. I'll try to zoom in here, but <clears throat> everything above that's pretty, pretty tight, so. All right, I think that's gonna be a wrap. So recap, it was pretty simple. Um, heat the ends up, take the grease seals out, beat the bushings out, freeze the, uh, the new ones, slide the new ones in, replace everything that it came with, put it back together, grease it, uh, I'm still waiting on parts. I, I have a job I gotta go do, so I'm gonna go do that job even without the grease seals, and then I'll take it back apart and clean it all back up and put the new grease seals in it when I get them in. So, yeah, pretty simple. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Time to get this garage cleaned up. God bless. <laughs>